mind minion, you are right on time. Welcome back to the Tabs Dimension. Now, I know the last time you were here, Steve and Greedo put a stop to your plan before it could be fully put in motion. But now, you have my assistance. So, if we want to take over this dimension, we are going to have to do it quietly. You know, Guido, with a brand new town and a brand new faction to explore, new opportunities are arising. For example, already, I've got a brand new job. A new job? Already? Well, you know me, I always want to make money, no matter the cost. So here I am as Deadeye, the most rooting tooting cowboy assassin in the entire land. I am going to be taking on the role of this assassin today, and hopefully I should be... Oh, pardon me, very unprofessional. Hello? Yes, this is Steve. I... Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Well, Guido, it looks like my kill list will have to be held off for a second. This dimension, like many others, has been invaded by my arch enemy Mesa and his minion Siren Head. Hey, adventurers, if you'd like to see me get out there and fight Siren Head using this Deadeye Assassin, go ahead and leave a like on the adventure in 3, 2, 1, now. Wow, you guys are feeling bloodthirsty today. We are going to need to be at absolute top form if we are to take on Siren Head. So, it's time for a little bit of training. All right, Guido, so right here I have my team of cheerleaders ready to assist me on this journey into training for Siren Head. And we also have some criminals for, you know, target practice. It's not like they're doing much other than being in prison. So it's time for us to go ahead and possess Deadeye right here. And we are going to try our best to march ahead and assassinate these units. Now it's going to be very tough because there's a lot of dust in the air. But let's get firing and seeing just how quickly we can take all of them down. Oh, we're pulling out all kinds of trick shots right here. Look at this. We are super speedy on the reload though. Thanks to my cheerleader friends and bam. Just like that, that is all five down. Now let's up the pace a little bit. We have some Raptor Riders who are charging in. Can we take them all down before they get close? Siren Head is extremely quick, so we need to make sure we're taking them all on. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try that again. It's just all about firing straight away and trying to hit all of these shots. Maybe we can back up just a little bit too. I should probably be aiming for the Raptors rather than the Riders. Okay, we've got one more right there. There we go. Now we take down the Riders. Bam, got a couple more right here. As I said, I'm pulling out all of the trick shots and easy peasy, we took all of them down. You know what, Guido? I think I'm getting used to this whole assassin business. All right, Guido, so here is our very first contract. As you can see, buddy, Da Vinci has managed to surround himself with a bunch of bodyguards. But he's in there. I've just got to snipe between the cracks and take him down. All right, let's see if I can do this without any cheerleaders. I may have forgotten them at home. Let's see exactly how we do here. We may have to go ahead and pull them out. Okay, let me see if I can get a snipe on Deadeye from here. It's going to be very tough considering that Da Vinci is stuck inside of that. Wait, did I take him down? Is that his body? I don't think it is. Okay, we've got to move fast before his bodyguards get all the way up here. Oh my goodness, this is quite tense, buddy. I'm going to wait right on this corner for those guys to approach and here we go okay let's see if we can snipe them there's one here comes another one they're actually quite slow and bop okay was that it or was there another one i'm not entirely sure i'm gonna go around the car oh yeah there's another one right there let's see if i can snipe this guy boom oh my gosh what a shot okay da vinci is still down there i don't think we've got any more bodyguards don't want to fall down though so let's go ahead and try snipe this guy from up here it's going to be very tough indeed. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I'm falling down. Oh, we've got to be careful. We do not want to fall down. Come on, come on, come on. Any second now. And bam, just like that, we managed to take down Da Vinci inside of his tank. Amazing job. All right, Guido. So this time we have a very particularly tough one. We've got to take down that bard all the way at the back over there. But this time he has some bodyguards of his own. We're going to have to see if we can snipe these squires before they can get even close. We also have to be careful of those uh, catapults all the way at the back. If I can kind of snipe them, that would be great. Come on, I'm pulling out all the trick shots here, and here we go. Oh my gosh, my cheerleaders are putting in work here. They are cheering me harder than ever before. Did we take down the catapults? I'm not sure yet. Let me see if I can snipe them, because the bard is getting very close. Of course, the problem with the bard is that if you get close to him, he will turn the other way. Okay, come on. Gotta snipe this guy. 
Come on. Oh, my goodness. He's right on top of me. No. Oh, my gosh. I'm going tumbling down. Oh. <laughs> I may have even taken down the bard right there. The squires are just coming up one by one here. So we're just going to snipe them as they approach, just like this. Okay, we got another one. This is like whack-a-mole or something. All right, let's see if we can get an eye on the bard right now. Oh, no, but the catapult is right there. I think I may have just shot the bard just a little bit. There we go. Let's see if I can snipe him now. Oh, this squire is approaching very quickly. He's kind of falling over. There we go. Nice. All right, so the bard is right there. Let's try snipe him again. It's becoming increasingly more difficult to snipe him from all the way up here. I'm going for it. Oh, that catapult is still active. Did that bard just get taken down? No, but he's left in the prime position for us to snipe him, I think. And again, maybe not. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, I'm away from my cheerleaders once again. And as you can see, Guido, it's very tough for me to get back up. So I've got to hurry. Okay, snipe. Where are my bullets going? Oh my goodness, we were actually just able to do it. I'm not sure what really happened. I guess the bard must have like fallen down the stairs or something. Oh my gosh. Was he cuddled to death? Guido, analyze. Nope, not Siren Head. Oh, I actually thought it would be, considering Siren Head loves cuddles so much. Okay, Guido, so this next battle is going to be very interesting indeed. As you can see, our target is the captain, but this time, there's a little bit of a difference. He has surrounded himself with a bunch of pirate bodyguards, and unfortunately for us... They can shoot back, but we have to charge valiantly forward, Guido, because this person, this pirate captain, could be Siren Head in disguise. And if he is, we simply can't let him walk away. All right, buddy, let's go for this. So he is all the way at the top on that pirate ship. As I said, the rest of those pirate bodyguards can fire at us, so we have to take these guys down super fast, including the harpooners. Oh, it looks like the pirate captain himself is charging in. He's going to be the first one here. Let's see if we can snipe him straight away. Oh my gosh, there was a double and that should be that, right? I think we did it. We took down both of them and yes, we defeated the captain. It looks like most of these guys didn't even get close, which is good for them because uh, those bullets were whizzing towards them. But still, no sign of Siren Head. I have one more location on my contract list, Guido. And we are going to have to hope and pray that this individual that we're hunting down is Siren Head. Well, Guido, it's been a very long day, but we are at our final contract on the kill list. We have the Reaper right here. Here at the Ancient Fields, guarded by a bunch of the Spooky Faction. Pumpkin Catapult, Skeleton Warriors, Candleheads, all guarding Mr. Reaper himself. Now, I guess if I was Siren Head, I'd like to be one of the most powerful entities in the entire Tab's dimension, and certainly, the Reaper is exactly that. And we are off. We are powered up by the power of the cheerleaders, and we're going to have to see if we can snipe all these guys. I'm going to take down the pumpkin catapult straight away and try get the candle heads, because those candle heads are going to be devastating when they get up close and personal. To be honest, though, I better just keep on firing as fast as I can, because these guys are approaching fast, and if we don't get any bullets into the reaper by the time he approaches we are screwed okay let's take these guys down as fast as we can oh gosh i've fallen over what's going on how come i fell over what's happening i'm facing oh my gosh i was facing the wrong way okay i know that we can do this we just want to be firing super rapidly and hoping that we don't fall over again Come on, come on. I think we've taken down most of, if not all, of the candle heads. There's one right there, I believe. There we go. Let's get another shot on the Reaper. Nice, nice, nice. Now these guys... Uh-oh, the pumpkin catapult is loose. I didn't even realize. That is bad. Let's try it. There we go. We took him down. Oh, these guys getting very close and personal indeed. I'm missing. I'm missing all my shots again. Come on, I'm firing as fast as I can. Oh my goodness, I'm firing so much. And once again, I've fallen over. Why does that keep happening? Oh, no. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, that was my bad. All right buddy different strategy this time i'm gonna try attack from all the way up here we should have way more distance here and way more time to snipe these guys i'm gonna try take down that pumpkin catapult which i did okay let's keep sniping these guys as they approach there the only thing we have to be worried about is that we can't really see them in this area on the right Uh oh here comes the candle man there we go this kind of works in our favor though because we can just snipe them as they get close just like this we've still got a ton of distance between us and the uh the rest of the uh, skeleton warriors and the reaper himself so we should have enough time to take these guys all on hopefully they're not approaching on the flank which i don't think they are okay skeleton warriors luckily these guys go down in one shot as long as i don't fall over again 
We should be able to do this quite easily. There we go. Now is our opportunity. We've got to go for it. We've got to snipe this guy before he... Yes, we did it. We actually managed to take down the Reaper. Let's go ahead and see the exact type of damage that we did. So he died right here and... <gasps> Guido, look! It really was Siren Head! We managed to find him! I knew that he'd be the Reaper! And I... Oh. Well, typically you only get a reward if you bring the body back, so... This is kind of an issue for us. 